Hey world guys, it's Fisher, and in this video I'll show you who won the competition of what faction I play as, and I will uh, show you a few turns of the campaign of which I shall do. And I'll quickly show I go third, second and third. So in third place, uh, Gondor and Rohan came in joint with five votes each, and then in second place it was again joined between Isengard and the Yorks of Gunnabad. So, in first place, drum roll, um, uh, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains came first with nine, nine votes. And I, this was between the forum and the YouTube. I added them up to get this faction. You guys wanted to see me play this faction the most. So I'm going to do very hard, very hard, manage all cities. And I'm going to play a short campaign because I can always carry it on if I want to. But that's still going to take a long time to do. So... Let's jump in. You obviously advice off. Okay, so there you go, there was the beginning, like, opening entrance of the Orcs little video intro. And the mighty boom may be slain by one arrow, and Boromir was pierced by many. Good old Pippin there to Denethor. So in this, in this, like, campaign, I assume I'll be fighting the Dwarves and the Elves, because I think they start off right next to me. But I'll just try and bide my time until I can get trolls and... The Balrog. I'm not sure if you can get the Balrog in this campaign, but we shall soon find out. And this is just an outline of like saying you shouldn't cheat and stuff. But I'm going to cheat anyway, unless you guys really object to it. I'm gonna turn Fog uh, Fog of War off because it's really this map is so big. Uh, I don't have a clue where all the provinces are. So unless unless you guys really don't want me to do it, I won't. So leave a comment if you really despise me doing it. Otherwise, I will go ahead and I will do it. And as you can see, most of the territories at the moment are all rebels at the moment. But I've well, seen change. So let's build some roads everywhere. And you do start off as the richest faction. I think this one is. Because I haven't played as these personally. But I believe that they are the richest factory. There you go. Get one of them. And I'm surrounded by the dwarfs on my right. And then I've got the oh, I think I've got Rivendell to my left, a bit up but to my left. Let's get a mine there and then Rose. No. We'll go Rose first and mine. Best to get a decent economy. Yeah, as you can see I've got elves to my right, silver elves. And then I've got Rivendell. Well, no, that's not Rivendell. Rivendell's over there somewhere. Over here, I believe. Or down here somewhere, along here. And then I've got the dwarfs up to my um, right, I think, or left. They're up here somewhere. Oh, you've got orcs going about. Yeah, I've got the orcs protecting my right, uh, left. And then up here, yeah, the dwarfs and the elves. So that's going to be my main concern, is to sort them out, but my first point I think I'll do, okay, where can I recruit troops the best? I think I am going to recruit some infantry to take some of these rebel places, just to start expanding a bit more, and I'll end my turn on that, because it's a key to any campaign on any game, and any where uh, Total War game is building the economy first and then then you can field larger armies later on on the game because if you just leave it and don't bother doing anything then 
you won't have the money later on in game. And this is basically just saying that our armies won't be completely like ready for war, like properly, professionally, for 10 years, which is about 50 turns, I think, in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's my end of turn. Courts, finance, and that. I'm pretty loading everyone. ATM. Got my goblin infantry trained. Let's see. I have damn many units there. Okay, where else can I build good troops? I mean, I can build troops anywhere else, which are all right. Okay, I'll just get one of them and then I'll move next turn. I think I start off at war. Yeah, let's check diplomacy. I start off at war with all the high elves, silver elves, and bandits. So, all the dwarves and elves. And I've got the also gone bad on my allies at the moment. Okay, let's end the turn again. Whilst we wait. And then we'll move on Amon Gastol. And we shall claim it for our own. Oh, and also another thing I forgot to do would be to rise taxes. Not there because it's a fort. But where places aren't forts, we can raise the tax and make these orc inhabitants pay me actually in case all my... oh here we go here's my capital oh and it doesn't have any popula popula uh, population growth and I want that so I don't run out through troops all my roads are built and my skirmishes are built okay let's move out with him my chieftain Oglog Sleeping here. We'll move out. We have completed an objective. And we'll try to take this town. Seems a bit aggressive. Get ready for fighting. Take your feet up. Okay, I was building a mine, which is good. Let's get some wargs there, cool. Nothing there. Ah, uh, building something now. Okay, well, no, let's get a burrow because archers are good on this this mod, and the doors will be hounding my city sooner or later. So I need to prepare it for war. And to try and also get out of the elves before they catch me in the... Oops. Yay, the ring has been found. Yay. No sleeping here! Let's get out of them. Objective complete. And that, then we can go get that city. Still, I'm still pretty poor at everything at the moment. But that will soon change when I beat everyone at everything and become the ultimate faction and rule middle earth okay up here what are we go and we'll go along and take this rebel town as well or maybe start on with um, silver elves I'm not sure okay I this turn and the next turn I'll go get that city Oh no, the silver elf has come for me. Oh, it's pretty balanced, being better with less troops, but obviously I have a mass. So, I'm going to have to pause it there, but please subscribe for the next episode. I'll leave an annotation in the top right hand corner or something for when the next episode is out, which may be tomorrow or the next day. But please subscribe for that, and we'll see how this battle goes. Thanks for watching.